OK, so are you sitting comfortably? Then let's take a look at your screen. This goes by many names, including VDU or Visual Display Unit, Display, Monitor, Display Screen. Um, well, you get the idea. It's the thing you stare at when using your computer. Well, in most cases, at least. You should be able to adjust the height, tilt and swivel of your screen, either manually or by use of inbuilt controls. Since we spend a lot of time staring at our screen, it's no surprise that getting the position of your screen correct is important. Equally important is to schedule non-screen activity for at least five minutes per hour, as well as looking away regularly to vary your focal range as much as possible. Frequent, shorter breaks are better than infrequent, longer ones, so please take time each hour to get up and away from your screen for a few minutes. This helps further reduce fatigue and eye strain. This applies right now, so if you've been staring at the screen following this e-learning, don't forget to occasionally focus on other objects by taking a look around. Also, take a break for a couple of minutes after each section of this e-learning. By adjusting your screen after ensuring your chair is correctly set up, you'll help to maintain your own comfort and safety when using the computer. So, let's give Peter a hand at setting up his screen. First off, Peter, your eyes should be level with the top of the screen. This is vital, so make sure your screen is neither too high or too low. Peter, your screen looks a little low at the moment, but notice that you have a built-in height adjuster. Let's bring it up a little. Uh, that's better. Perfect. Now, it's your turn. Set your screen height after correctly adjusting your chair. Adjust the height of the monitor if necessary so that your eyes are level with the top of the screen. If you can't do this right now, make a note of this action point and correct the monitor height as soon as possible. If you have any doubts, just ask your line manager. Remember, if your screen doesn't have adjustable height, you'll need to use a monitor stand or riser to help adjust the height if it's too low. Next up, Peter, we need to make sure that the monitor is placed directly in front of you and not at an angle. If it's at an angle, you'll be putting extra stresses and strains on your neck. As you can see, Peter needs to move his monitor a little to the left. There we go. Perfect. Remember that by sitting face on to your screen, you will avoid having to twist your body, which may lead to unnecessary aches and strains. Next, let's check the distance between you and the screen is correct. The screen should be positioned about 35 to 60 centimetres away from you. For those of you who haven't got a ruler handy, like Peter, it's about an arm's length. Is the screen the correct distance, Peter? Ah, looks like it was a bit too close. Let's move it back along the desk a little. Now it's your turn. Take a minute to get your screen position just right. If you have a particularly large monitor or an older CRT type, get someone to give you a hand. What's a CRT type? Um, well, heavy. You'll know if you have one. They were bulky and heavy. Good. That's position sorted. Now let's look at adjusting our screen settings. Modern screens, like modern TVs, have lots of adjustments that can be made to change the way the screen appears to you. This is really important. Another common problem I've observed is people simply switching on the screen and assuming all is well. It's a bit like getting into the driving seat of a car and not bothering to adjust the mirrors. The characters on your display screen should be stable and sharply focused, free from flicker. If this is not the case, your screen is either damaged or needs adjusting. Similarly, everything on your screen should be of an adequate size for easy reading without you having to strain your eyes. Windows has many features designed to help you make viewing more comfortable, so for help adjusting the size of images and text displayed, speak with your line manager. You should also be able to adjust the brightness and contrast of the screen to suit the lighting conditions in the room. Generally, the brighter the room, the more contrast you'll need. The brightness and contrast controls are usually found on the lower front side of your screen. Let's take a closer look at Peter's screen. Ah, it looks like the brightness needs increasing a little. Better. That's it. And now the contrast. Perfect. 
Take a moment to adjust your screen's controls and position right now. And if you're not sure how to adjust your screen's controls, speak with your line manager. Remember, whilst there is at present no evidence that using display screens can cause any damage to your eyesight, it may be the case that using your screen draws attention to your own pre-existing conditions. Bad news! However, the good news is that as a DSE user, you have the right to have your eyes tested on us. That's right, we'll happily arrange and pay for an eye test for you. What's more, we can pay for further scheduled eye tests if required. As a final bonus, whilst we won't pay for your normal glasses, if you require special glasses specifically to work with your screen, we'll also contribute to these. For more information on the circumstances in which we will contribute and how much, just speak to your line manager. Excellent. Now the display screen is set up correctly, let's move on to look at the desk.